Aloha and welcome to Hanging Out on the Sharks Reef, an occasional visit with some of the members of the HPU Athletic Ohana. I'm Bill Powers. Joining us today is Ed Kagiyama, the head golf coach for both men and women at Hawaii Pacific University. And Ed, uh, it, it, this has been an unusual time. How has it been trying to keep up with the, the two teams while everything is going nuts, it seems like, around you with no activity going on? Uh, well, you know, it's, uh, it was pretty hectic in the beginning, you know, coming in, coming in mid, mid-season. Um, but, you know, it was a lot of fun. You know, I, I wouldn't have it any other way just to be thrown in there and, and just get going. Um, so kind of now it's kind of a time to catch up on things and uh, learn a little bit more about sort of the NC2A and, and some of the policies and, you know, the procedures and how things are get done. And it gives me actually some a chance to actually and gather more of my thoughts uh, as I prepare for uh, this coming uh, school year. Well, first and foremost, you are the newest right now head coach at HPU. And as you said, you got brought in in the middle of the uh, two semester season. Tell me, what was it like getting started that way? Uh, well, that's the only way I know getting started. But, uh, you know, part of it, part of the good part was that uh, everything was set. Um, there's nothing that I had to really prepare, like scheduling or, or recruiting and those kinds of things that everything was pretty set. And so it was really just carrying on the rest of the school year and the season of what was already there. And so it was actually a good part that I, I could just focus on just, just a part of it and not really a lot of the other moving parts about, uh, about running a college program. And so from that aspect, actually, I, I thought it was actually a lot easier for me as I go through this process now of preparing for the fall, uh, there's a lot of other things that come into play, uh, uh, you know, like the recruiting part of it and scheduling and just the timing of everything. Uh, and then scheduling two teams and recruiting for two teams at the same time. Uh, it was actually good to have this downtime so that I can really just focus on those parts of it. Well, Ed, one of the things that really came on was the sudden end of the season Take us back to the 12th of March. You're getting ready to, to take the women's team out to a tournament. Yeah, it was, um, is it unfortunate that uh, maybe about 45 days or so into my tenure uh, coaching that first year, that first season, that it did end that abruptly, um, all, obviously for good reason. Um, and uh, uh, it, it was a little bit sad. It's just, you know, like um, I was really getting to know the kids on the team. Uh, especially the seniors, uh, the, on the on the men's team, we just came back from a 11 day road trip playing two tournaments in in California, and so I got to spend a lot of time with them, uh, on and off the golf course, and uh, you know it's it's it was really it was really a lot of fun just being with them. I was looking forward to doing that more with the women's team, on the upcoming trip that we're going to take in a few days, um, and so it's it is just a really fun time uh, for me uh, to get out there and, and be with the team. And then now with social distancing and those types of things, uh, I, didn't, I didn't get to see the seniors uh, anymore. And so um, one of, uh, two of them uh, live internationally, they're international students. And so they went back home. And so I probably will not see them uh, anytime soon. Although we do correspond uh, electronically, uh, but it's a, it's, a, it's really unfortunate, and um, you know it's but it's one of those things that we just we just move on and keep keep moving forward. One of the things that you had was that you lost the opportunity to compete in a championship, and for for spring sports, that has been a a big deal that that they didn't quite get to the spot where they could be able to. Uh, even come close to having that championship feel at the end. Yeah, I was really looking forward to that. I, I want to see how that, what that was like, how that experience was. Uh, it will give me a, a good opportunity to see the competition within our conference. Uh, you know, when we play tournaments in the regular season, we're playing schools from other divisions, other, other conferences. And so I don't get to see our conference play uh, directly a lot of times. And so I was really looking forward to the conference play 
uh, postseason conference play as a way to just to 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 get an idea of where we are as a team, uh, our our scores, our abilities uh, against uh, the others in our conference, as because that would be really what will help me kind of sort of formulate uh, our plans going into the future. Uh, the NC2A, you know, if we when we get there, and I, I, that is a goal of, of mine and our program to get there regularly. Um, you know, that's a that's a whole another level of um, of experience that I, I really want to get to. Well, one of the things that also has the the COVID nineteen pandemic has caused is uh, recruiting to maybe change a little bit from from what you were originally going to do. What's recruiting like now in this time of uh, of the pandemic? Well, I think there's two things that um, some some do feel like they want to stay closer to home, and I, I I totally understand that, totally get that. The other flip side of it is that people view come to Hawaii as a positive because the introduction of coronavirus or or those sorts of things into a little hard because Rhode Island uh, uh, there's actually maybe what two ways for people to get here. It's either on an airplane or on a ship. And so um, people can view Hawaii as a little maybe of a safer place to be. Uh, and so that's one of the advantages that, that I found in recruiting that the people do want to come here because it is isolated and you can get away from that kind of thing. Well, as we get close to, to wrapping this up, I know you've enjoyed most of your first year. Tell us what you're looking forward to from this point on. Uh, you know, I really enjoy the teams, the team so far. Uh, you know, we've had a lot of fun. Uh, all good kids. Bringing in uh, recruits that I had recruited and building teams going into the future with the idea of, of sort of uh, the program goals, achieving the program goals that, that we've set forth. Um, and so that's what I'm really looking forward to is, is getting back, uh, building teams, um, having great experience as a team. Um, and, you know, as you know, we're just, it's just a part of the process and, and experiences that we go through, win or lose, um, that's just part of, the, part of the journey. And so I'm just looking to enjoy the journey, have a good time, uh, share the experiences with, with the, the incoming kids uh, and the existing team. And, um, you know, then, you know, all things kind of line up and then we'll add them up in the end and we'll see how we do if we make postseason, how we do in postseason and entry two A's. But uh, it's, it's, it is a fun process and it is an enjoyable journey. Well, we certainly look forward to seeing more of you and more of the Sharks golfers, both men and women, as we uh, get on once we can be able to get started here uh, in Hawaii and the United States with our tournament action again. Thanks so much for joining us today. Bill, thank you. Ed Kagiyama, the head golf coach for men and women at Hawaii Pacific University. We've been hanging out on the Sharks Reef. We hope to talk to you again very soon. Aloha.